Here we go, everything is all out. It took me about like five minutes. My grounds. This is for the amp, battery, as you can see right here, and another one, battery. Here she is with all its glory. See, Q bomb, Q bomb, 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 bomb. Yeah, she know that reference, early 2000s. <laughs> diagnose it like I did for my for my lady's car and in this one I guess since it's front wheel drive I can't do it it's like you know and the other one it was rear so basically what I did was take the brakes off right here I spun it and then you could see the rotor like kind of like go like this so basically it will show that the road is warped is warped but I can't di diagnose it like that and I guess the only way for me to do it is to just buy one new one, put it on, and then hope that I get it right. And if it's wrong, then switch it back to the other side and then should be it. What is up my good peeps? This is your boy Sway back with another video. And today is gonna be a quick rundown of my current setup. And as you can see, I'm right here. I'm in the back seat because I took the 15s out. I did not get rid of them. I just, well, you know, I couldn't just ride the car and uh, my box was sitting in the back, but I put the 15s inside the house, took the box out, broke it down, and 15 is just gonna sit there for temporarily because I don't feel like building another box or buying another box because building your own box is always better, cheaper, and you basically get more experience. And so right now, boom. As y'all can see, I have a new box in here. Speakers are wired down to four. I should wire it down to two ohms and just run it at separate channels instead of bridge. Be better for these. And these are, well, this is a Rhino box and each speaker gets about 1.5 cube and it's not too bad. I don't like the fact that you can hear it, that it taps out like, like it reaches the speaker at like 40 Hertz. And I don't like that because my one of my favorite songs just don't sound right in this box. So this is why I like building my own box and I don't want to build another box. So I'm going to keep writing this out for the time being. And um, I am kind of having some issues right now. So as you can see, all my tools is right here. I got to diagnose and figure what's going on. I don't know if I blew these speakers or if the amp is going bad because it's not giving me any bass. So I might have blew the speakers because they are rated at 400 RMS, peak at eight. And when you combine them, 16 peak and 800. So I should have just ran them off one channel instead of bridge. So, um, <clears throat> Right now I'm gonna see, um, I'm gonna try to put them on one channel. See if that does anything. And if I don't do anything, I'm gonna take it apart and diagnose it like that. But let me show y'all right here. This is how everything looks right there. Boom. This is the laser, 12s, dual four. And yeah, my little setup right here. Kinda look like a little mess over here. Yeah. But, I'm not gonna bore y'all with the tear down. 
but before I tear it down, I gotta like try some things first to make sure that it's um, not the not the speaker. I mean, not the app. So, so right now, I'm just gonna plug this in just to see if I get a little hum hum. up right here put that volume down So I don't need to go any further. It looks like my RCA's is no good. Because it played very loud. So let's see. Let's go back again. Right here. Damn, I can't do it like this. All right, so let's do this. It's still low. But it looks like my RCA's are no good. So let's play some music right here. Right here. Boom. Put the volume down. And put the volume up. Turn this on right here. Like this. I hope my neighbors don't get mad at me. It is a Sunday and I'm right here playing loud music. So put the volume down. Put this up. If you are having issues with your um, with your system and it's not playing any sound, first off, you just might want to check your RCAs. And now I have to go in the back of this damn head unit, take this whole thing apart, and then run it back over there. But let me give y'all a little preview. Besides that, I'm gonna plug this up again right here. Plug this up to my phone and crank the volume up and see the difference. Boom. And I know y'all could hear this fan. I know y'all could hear this fan. As soon as you just cut this thing off, it just starts to blow. So let's plug this up again. Boom, right over here. Right over here. Volume all the way down. RCA is no good. And I was right here doubting. And I was right here doubting these little lasers 400 taking 15. <laughs> but I tuned it myself. It's pretty simple. The best way to do that is to just listen for that hum. Once that hum, once that hum changes sound, that means you clip it. What you gotta do is back off about like two, three notches, and then boom all good you don't need to go pay somebody like 50 to 100 dollars to, to like tune it for you <laughs> but for me i think it's much more simple because this is a class 
class A B amplifier, so I don't really have to set any um, subsonic or all that stuff. All I gotta do is just put the gain right, low pass filter on, put the LPF all the way up, you know, low pass filter all the way, and phase I have it like to about middle but I don't need to have phase up I just still put it I was trying to like do it with the with the um I lost my train of thought but I'm about to take everything out because I need my spare I'm getting a little vibration in the front and I get the feeling that it's my rotors that's no good so I don't think y'all want to see that but I might include clips here and there, but I gotta take this out so I get the spare out. And um, since I have the subs out, I'm gonna take it out and wire it down to like two ohms a piece and just utilize these two because they will be getting about 600. And if I keep it at like, if it gets 14.4, I get about 700. So it's like right almost there at the peak. So it's like, but this is temporary so and also I've seen videos about people talking about their best subs and I know the 15s move air and uh, I know I could never really turn it up because my voltage would drop but still till this day my best setup is the L710 Q in the L712 solo barrack. Yes, I could not go full tilt with those two subs with the window up. If I went full tilt, the windows had to be down or my ears would like literally start to rain. That's how much air those two things move. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to start, stop doubting these kickers. Stop doubting them. And I think if I ever do stop switching out subs, my end goal will be two Q10s. And if I have the space, I'll go with four of them. But that's about it for this video. I went on, on about boom, boom, boom with the all blah, 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 blah. But I'm just gonna show y'all a quick view of how to diagnose when your wheel is shaking. And then after that, if y'all want me to include more of those videos in the future, just let me know. But everything else I do from here on out is going to be like time lapse. So I hope I enjoyed this video. Have a great day.